Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about useless fantasies in physics and today I am talking about inflation. I think inflation is a key example of what's going wrong in modern physics and well first of all it's based on something we do not understand and it do not mean in first place that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic it also shows this peculiar property what people call flatness that the kinetic and the potential energy are so balanced uh, that there is not even a tiny difference between the amount of energy and that's very interesting but we do not understand it if ever it is to be understood by mass principle and by challenging the gravitational constant but not by a vague assumption that the universe has expanded in a superluminal way at the first moments. Inflation is not even a theory, it's just a model, something very vague and a bunch of uh, free parameters you can adjust at will. And in, in the literal sense it is something inflated and Roger Penrose was right when he said inflation is just a fashion, high energy physicists visited on cosmology, even artworks find their offspring is beautiful. In fact, it's a very unhealthy cooperation between high energy physics and cosmology because both suffer from a lack of evidence. They try to bring these things together but there is nothing in common. So in a way they behave as two species of bacteria who exchange their genes in order to become resistant to falsification. Even if there is no observation at all that could potentially falsify uh, inflation because it's at way too many parameters, people claim that there is evidence and this is very annoying because even if you believe that the cosmic microwave background at uh, 380,000 years after the Big Bang is okay and you don't have issues with it, then you just to compare it to the relevant period which is 10 to the minus 35 seconds or something as they claim and I mean it's completely absurd to extrapolate from the very first moments to 30, 40 or 50 orders of magnitude. And that's a complete departure from common sense. Some physicists fall victim. It's very annoying. And this kind of evidence is sometimes artificially constructed. They say, oh, we assume that this and this and this happened in the very first seconds. And then you have a mechanism and then you have an observation which actually took place. But you can assume any nonsense and then follow up and make correct deductions and then you are compatible with the observations. But correct observations are compatible with any nonsense because from nonsense you can always deduce something which is correct. So if you hear something is compatible, run. Yeah? That's a sign for physics which is not healthy and I think inflation is a particular prominent example. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in real fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.